Check out the Sprite Ice Cold Keys to the Game. Now, Clark, looking at the Magic, what do they need to do to secure a win? Well, they're facing LeBron James, and they have to zero in on him. He was last season's league leader in points scored, so you've got a game plan for him defensively. Deny him the ball, and when he gets it, force him to pass or take challenge shots. And, Clark, what about Cleveland? Watch the key for them. They trail by one. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. You know, Kevin, I think it sort of came down to the fact they did not have to deal with a lot of pressure. The enemy, it's tipped. Stolen by the man. Good anticipation for the steal. Here's Dawkins. Hits the break with a nasty stuff. He's got five. He's not the guy you would expect to compete in the dunk contest, but he can still throw it down when he needs it. Oh! Three ball. Great defense there. Challenge the path of the shooter, which caused the miss. That's what happens when you get greedy with those long passes. He's just so gifted at that. Smaller guy. Power of a typical center. And the force and confidence to continue to get there. Williams backs him down. There's the buzzer, and that's a shot clock by Here's Williams. He gets hammered on the head of the line. That's a no-brainer. You gotta stop the layup there. Make him earn his points from the line. To Glover. Dimes. Ah, uh, can't take the lead. You can't convert if you're handing over the ball. Well, without question, Kevin, you're exactly right. They had a tough time getting into their offensive flow. Even more shocking that he couldn't sink it. Dimes. Crosses it with the one-handed jam. Nine points in the game so far. And you now the match. It's a five-point game. And the Veterans Day holiday coming up. It's going to be the Miami Heat at the American Airlines. Anticipation. The interior D was lurking in that. Here's Collins. Rips down the breakaway slam. 13 points in the game. Too easy. Mark. LeBron. Inside. He has 31. Vincent St. Mary High School. Here's Howard. Can't stop the run. Well, the franchise, but the city has just been phenomenal to watch. James ties it up, and that's a jump ball. Great leadership skills, Clark, for LeBron James. Well, he's ahead of his time in that regard. As a young player, as young as he is, to be the kind of leader. And that concludes the first half. The score, 62 to 57. Now, the T-Mobile Halftime Report. All right, let's look at the team stats. So far, neither team has really found their mark from long range. Yeah, they'd be better off working it inside for a while. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. And he's been snapping that net, Kev. That's what you love to see. Bucket, bucket, and then more bucket. He's got 11. Shoots from 12. You'll see very often. Oh, the the oh, oh, from the paint, a reason with the bucket. Kevin, this has really yeah. been a commitment. Williams. Sends it from the top of the key. He's got 15. In the paint. Screen by Howard. Hits the bucket. And the amount of good to James. Covered by Peters. And six feet. He's gone. My goodness, it seems like he's got every part of this court. Amazing job helping to cut into this lead. And here now the match. It's a five-point game. This is the layup. Farmer did a heck of a job there. Contested the shot and recovered to crash the ball. Here's James. Here's Lewis. He's against Hickson. To win the drop. This is what happens when the defense lags. Wrong guys. It's the magic with the ball. 
trailing by five. Here's Ariza that bounces out of bounds after the shot. Some changes. He's had a lot of difficulty this quarter, which in turn is making him a He's guarded by Williams. Reza. Yes! From downtown. For three. What do you do as a coach? You try and slow down the shooter. Well, Kevin, sometimes there's not much you can do other than challenging everything. The runner on the easy shot. You see her. And they make it a single-digit game. You knew that one. The Cavaliers walk away with a double-digit victory as they defeat the Magic. 128 to 113. LeBron James is the Jordan Grand Player of the game and some solid numbers. Well, Kevin, he scored over half of his team's points. That's all you have to say, really. He had a phenomenal offensive game. And that about the importance of good shot selection. It's nice to see that you don't give away possessions with bad shots.